Lady Moon. We're going to talk about books today. Just some. I'm in the middle of moving, so I can only find some of my things, which is amazing because we have lots. And Igor says hi. And um, people are always coming in the shop and asking me, you know, what's a good book? Of course, my usual response is, go to what you're drawn to. If it talks to you, there's a reason. But I want to give you some of my favorite picks. Power of the Witch. I love Lori Cabot. She is just awesome. This is uh, one of her, well, it's a hard copy. She is the lady who got the recognition back into Salem. She is got the old religion in here. She's got spells in here. She's just really um, practical, and I like that. Okay. Margot Adler. Now, a lot of my book picks are older books. You know, after doing this for 30 years and my age, we all like the, um, the older artists, but there's some new ones out there, and some I don't know. This is excellent for history. If you want, it's a big, thick book. Um, it's got so many different it, uh, paths in it, I should say. And uh, it's for information, this is a good one. She's been around a long time. It's a thick read. Read it. Okay. <laughs> All right. One of my other favorite guys. Now, this is Raymond Buckland. And he's been around forever, too. This is a fun book because it's got a lot of spells in it, a lot of candle spells. Um, my gosh, this one's old. I've been having this one since the 80s. <laughs> and Buckland, I couldn't find his other book that I like, too, which I actually make for beginners. It's a good one. It's a complete book of witchcraft. But this has spells in it. So, so many times people come in the shop, you have a good spell book. This would be a good one for them. And that was Practical Candle Burning <coughs> Rituals, right? Oh, could you not see it? I'm sorry. <laughs> it just didn't say the title. Oh, well, I'm bad. Okay. Witch's Goddess. I can't find... There's a complimentary book that goes with this. It's The Witch's God. <coughs> this is the Friars, and the Friars are in the English. Oh, look, paper's in there. This one is not one you're going to sit down and read. You can. There's a lot of good stories in the beginning of it, but it's more of a dictionary. It gives you probably the most comprehensive of gods and goddesses from every walk, you know, from India to Buddhist, you name it, Japanese, they're in here. And this is really good just to have in your library for a reference. Of course, get the other one, the witch's god to go with it, because then you're going to have both deities talked about, which is wonderful. All right, one of my favorite guys of all time, Scott Cunningham. He is Every one of my children have to read his books. Um, I like Wicca for the Solitary by Scott Cunningham. This is a good one that's very similar to that. Because I couldn't find that book to show you today. But um, Cunningham is so easy. It is wonderful books to start with. Because he's all about being in tune with the Mother Earth. And for him... You don't have to go out and buy a bunch of stuff, which is exactly how I feel. If you want to do later on in your walking in your path, then that's fine. But when I started, a uh, single mom, I didn't have lots of money. So walking on the beach and finding a wonderful goddess shell, a friend of mine gave me um, an antler that they have found in the forest for my god and goddess. That was my statues. And with his guidance, that's the type of thing that you can do. He's a wonderful herbalist. His herbalist books are magnificent. So Cunningham is a definite read. This one's good. Wicker for the Solitaire, equally good. Campanelli's. This is the Will of the Year. I like this book. It's older um, because this tells you the seasons for the witches. And it has stitches. It has talking about what to do on each holiday. And a lot of people are asking for the holidays. Nowadays, they come out with books that are individualized. And that's okay, too, because you can go more into depth. But Campanelli's, another older book. Let's see. This one's from the 80s, too. Um, it'll give you a little bit on everything, but it's really very earthy as well. It's very um, basic, so you don't have to go out and buy a lot of stuff. And that's 
really important when you're just getting started out. You don't need to buy a lot of stuff. Skyhawk. Here is a uh, book, Female Energy. She's t pretty much tells you what women had to get to, to where they're going to, where they are today. There's spells in here. Another good book, another good read, another good history. How we have the freedom to be who we are today from these women in the past. Another favorite of mine is the Fitch book, Magical Rites from the Crystal Well. Now, again, a lot of the books that I pick aren't mainstream. They aren't new. But these books, gosh, I've been using them forever, and I do pretty good, I think, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one says 1990 on it, so this one has different types of things in it, which I always love, and the artwork in it is magnificent. But it helps you, like, do things like how to start your own group. Your codes of chivalry, which is, you know, manners, things that sometimes people don't have anymore. <laughs> Sorry about that. But it has little ruins, spring rites, blessing things. It has ocean rites, which I always thought, midsummer. Your, what to even cook in your meals. It's a really, really good book. It's beautiful. I love the artwork in it. I love the ceremonies in it. Good book. Other books, I will suggest one, which I don't have here in the pile, but um, especially for children, my favorite of all is Silver Ravenwolf, Teen Witch. Both of my girls had that book. Um, excellent to really positive energy for the children. Excellent. But this is a book picked for today. Just some suggestions if you're looking. But if you don't want the older books like the old ladies, go find some newer ones. Lady Moon out. <laughs>